These, te these tennises are a joke. You see these tennis chains? They're three carat a piece. Yeah. Crazy. They're, I worked out, I think that was like 275 grand each. Another baller in the pan, a proper baller as well, this one. <laughs> <laughs> if the offer's good enough, it'll go. Whoever was buying it didn't notice the chip in the glass. Yeah. So this watch is probably gonna have to go back to Rolex and there's gonna be a hefty invoice charge. So, don't know what we're gonna do with this watch at the moment, plus the glass. Two new arrivals for the people that like bus stands, not for everyone, but people that do. 16850, date just 41s, fully diamond set, rainbow Roman doll, rainbow batten doll, available today at Trotters. 16850, cheapest in the UK. Hit me up, let's go. Dual yeah, time, nice rasher on, dual time AP. Hi everyone, so I've got two very similar watches here. I've got the AP and the Rolex, both on a black rubber strap, both rows. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments. Oh, let's get ready to rumble! We've got a big selection of new arrivals this week. And it's not just any normal new arrivals. We've got five big hitters, as I like to call them. Actually, four big hitters, one everyday team. Actually, three big hitters, two everydayers. Let's see. So, we're going to start off first with the least value, we'll save the best till last. First up, Datejust 2 Custom Diamond Bezel and Dial. This is box and papers, all stainless steel material. This is available for 9.5. Okay. If you're interested, hit us up on the Instagram. Next up, we have the stainless steel Pepsi, the Oyster Bracelet. Personally, my favourite out of the two, Oyster or Jubilee, I prefer the Oyster. Comment below, let me know which one you prefer. This is available in stock, 2020 new new card, 25 grand, boom. Now we're gonna move on to the more serious pieces. I'm gonna hit you up first with the lower end of the value. And that's gonna be the Day Date 40 Olive. This one available in stock for 68.5. Comes with box papers, 2020. New new card, come on. We have a stainless steel 5980 and a 5712R, both available in Trotters Jewelers, Liverpool Street, 130, 150. The only time I've ever played against someone in the league, it's a fucking unbelievable. 
mental. I think he scored after that game or something mad like that. I think I did start. Another baller in the penthouse, proper baller as well, this one. <laughs> Uh, Margate had a decent pitch though. Yeah, better than Hampton. Yeah. You went up that, you didn't you? We saw that the ladies great, yeah. didn't we? Went up, mate. Uh, went up to. Now we won. Uh, we won the. We won, it, uh, won it straight to. Straight to Pomp South. I'm really, it was fucking mental. Every time I played, I was like, fuck this, man. <laughs> so, H. Hi. We've got a subscriber in the comments. Yep. His name is YH. Hey. Asking if we've ever been offered a fake watch and how uh, do we go about it in that situation? Yeah, of course. I mean, some people genuinely don't know that their watch is fake. Some people do. Well. Obviously, regardless of that situation, they come and try to sell it to us. Uh, we just, if it's someone we know, we let them down. We just tell them as it is. If it's someone we don't know, we let them, let them down easy. Maybe guide them the right way to correct the mistakes. If it is a mistake, if not, obviously, they just take the watch back and move on with their life. So obviously some people do try it. Uh, we've got, if, it's, if I'm not sure, Callum's not sure. If Callum's not sure, Judd's sure. So we always bounce off each other, double check, make sure. If we're all unsure, which is quite rare, then we'll get a second opinion. Uh, someone that we trust, uh, obviously predominantly watchmakers that we work with. Um, yeah, aside from that, it's not really much else. A lot of the fakes, they tend to be quite obvious. Where we've got a good array of watches, we can always compare if when when in doubt. Uh, so we bought this from a client last week. It's oh, I need a new glass as well, bastard. Whoever was buying it didn't notice the chip in the glass. Uh, right, it's five oh, o'clock. Mate, it's a factory bezel. That's not a standard glass. Shape we got it for. That's it. Look, so it's a cow. Obviously, he's a guilty one. <laughs> that was easy to find out. Who bought the watch last week? <laughs> Sure. Right, so we bought this watch here, which is a factory RBR reference, which means it's a factory bezel and dial. However, the lady told us that she had taken the factory salmon dial out of it and had a custom pearl dial fitted. Unfortunately, she lost the factory dial, which obviously reflected in the price purchase. So we need to try and source a factory salmon Roman V diamond dial, which is not easy. So this watch is probably gonna have to go back to Rolex and there's gonna be a hefty invoice charge. So. <laughs> Don't know what we're gonna do with this watch at the moment, plus the glass. Guys, just came in as the customer ordered. <laughs> Triple row bezel, custom chocolate Arabic. Lovely watch. Today we've got the plum dunks on. Uh, we have got the capello trousers on. We've got the plain white tee. Just a little reese jacket. And just a Gayard side bag, man bag. Hey, she's trying to buy a watch for 10 grand less than what the customer wants. That's really going to work out. <laughs> right, anyway, let's go all with jewelers war. So, new hat, Trotters, link in the bio. Travis Scott, fragment jumper to match. Boom! My favorite trainers in the whole entire world. One has pink laces, one has cream laces. I don't care because I love them so much. Callum said I paid too much for them, but Callum's bought more trainers than me. So, I'd rather invest in a smaller quantity of trainers. And these are actually a conversation starter, as Mike even said, you know. I'll be, in, I'll be like in a coffee shop and be like, cool trainers, man. Why don't you your outfit? Go on. Zara. That light figure on the TV, but you're getting muted for the minute. It's a little bit noisy. Sorry, bro. Let's see who rates it more, Rio Cam or Tilly Cam. All right, so but today we have Tilly. I'm going to start with your feet. What have you got on the feet? Uh, these are from Shoe, I think. They're a bit dead. Pull your trousers up, you see. Yeah, they're nice, Shoe. they're nice. What's on your trousers? Zara. Nice. Zara. And mum and dad. All right. Silly cam, because you know who does it best. Me. So, What's happening, people? <laughs> Real here. What, tro what, what jewel jewelers wore. What jewelers wore. Right. So, today. What's on your feet? I've got the new balances. Yep. Smart, I like. And I've got the 
Low cut, high cut. Are they high cut or low cut? Medium I'm not cut. Not too sure. <laughs> Let's go for medium. Medium cut. Well, I've got the Uniqlo. Uniqlo, not Arniqlo. Uniqlo. Yep. Where would them. they find them? Westfield. Oxford Street, Lakeside, Blue Water, Spitfield. Westfield, Spitfields, wherever. Angel. Wherever. Uniqlo. White tea. From where? Oh, Reese. Reese. And the oversized, I don't know what this is even is, just grey. It looks like a Zara shacket. Cardigan. Shacket, as Wait. Tilly says. What shacket? Shit jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It's a shit. shirt and a jacket. Shirt so it's a jacket. jacket. Put together. Yeah, this is from Reese as well. On the hat. Jug clothing. It'll be down below. My boy Skell. Oh, I don't know. You're talking a lot of money so far. Do you know what I mean? You're talking 450. I don't know. I wouldn't like to say. You. Another you. <laughs> that's, I'm, that's, that's, that's the risk, isn't it? I don't know. It's, I said to you from the start, it's a lot of money. Even when it was at 350. I've got a rose one. What, the rose skilly? Yeah, I got rose and I got steel. I got rose one for like two, like two eighty, mm. and then I got a steel one. I got two. I got a used one, uh, which is like twenty. Uh, sorry, I've got I've got a used but like new condition twenty twenty, and I've got a two thousand and sixteen or seventeen, but it's fully 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 stickered. Yeah, but you might as well just get the used one. Well, it's more sensible, but then they've, they've just re-released it, didn't they? Or the black petrol I showed you last time. Oh, yeah, Bro, get that. I've still got that. How much off you for last time? Oh, Mate, two sixty. No yeah, but bro, it's fucking. It's, it's a tour cheaper, and it's still black ceramic, and no one's got it. And then let me and then have a think, have a think on the skelly and let me know. You know what might be there as well, a, fr a purple frosted. Yeah, hard watch, man. How much is it I don't know. I think around a three, but I need to double check, man. So what, the, the, the face is purple and then the strap is frosted white gold. What, how many of them on me? <laughs> Fuck knows. Um, small, small numbers. I think it was like 250 pieces, maybe? No, less. It's 100, isn't it? It's 100. I think it's 100 pieces. Okay. All right, sweet. But listen, shout at me. Let me know. I think on the, on the skeleton as well. I think on the frosted. Um, I could probably do it. 200 pieces worldwide. And then I'll um, either chase up this RM as well. Go on, bro. My man. So, new arrival today, we've got a GMT Master 1675 reference, 1973-74, it is watch only unfortunately, it has been sent to Rolex and had a dial change and had new hands as well, which is one of the reasons, if you are out there and you have got one of these or you know, your dad left it to you or your granddad left it to you, and you feel like oh, it probably doesn't need a service. You need to get you can get a service obviously, but make sure when you do send it to Rolex that you do ask that the hand and the dial does not be touched or changed because it does change the value. So we bought this in yesterday um, at what I feel was a good price. Um, but obviously the customer did say, you know, well, what is it worth? And I said, I explained that obviously it was kept with full kit, like box, papers, any original swing tags, documents, blah, blah, blah. Especially explained the dial in the hand scenario, it would be worth a lot more. Um, unfortunately, this is just what happens. It's just a, you know the, when people aren't educated on these vintage pieces. So the patina is, in other words, for the graded condition of the watch. So, for example, if a watch is good for patina, that means it's aging naturally and gracefully. So, like for example, that was them them uh, inserts were once white, and now they're now going off white to a creamy colour. Off white. <laughs> that just shows that the it's getting naturally sort of damaged by like sort of sun and stuff like that. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of what you find the best. Right, I'll get an example now online. 
the best examples of a GMT, the ones that are heavily sort of damaged by sun, that will create like webs in the dials and stuff like that. But if you, I mean, you, you might, so for example, you may find this up in someone's loft, you know, in, you know hand down by your granddad, um, he might have wore it for many years, and you might receive that in the wheel, and you might go, fucking hell, what's that? Do you know what I mean? Not having no real education to watch, but that is a crazy, crazy piece. If you find something like that, with that sort of condition on the bezel especially, the dial, the hand, the bracelet, you want it completely untouched, you don't want no polish on it, you want it to be reserviced, don't worry about that, you can do it later on, you know, movement focus only. You want to keep the dial uh, and the hands and the bezel completely natural like that. Um, you don't want no new braces on it, you want it completely like that. So for example, that watch there is online for 77,000. Factory set, Daytona BR, white gold with a meteorite Roman numeral dial. I think it's more so more museum sided. Depends how big you, depends how big your bank is, bro. <laughs> if the offer's good enough, it'll go. No, I, I think the time being there because it's completely rare. You try to find ones online, you do not, they're not bad. If you go back five, six years ago, the rose gold five seven twelve was market value around thirty thousand and that's around 125,000 now. So they've both increased so much in value, but I, I just, I don't know, I just think that's a timeless piece. Whereas, where are you gonna wear that? I'm more, I'm more flashy naturally with rose gold. So I prefer the color rose to white. You know, that's special and it's a bit more uh, under the radar. Mm. I'm just always more naturally swayed to that. But I like Rolex as a brand. I don't know. I'm just more swayed to, 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 the, to the tech. To the 5712, that is a, just a toll, let's be honest. Mm. Yeah, viewers, put in your comments what you'd rather. Why would you rather the Patek or why would you rather the Rolex? This is the one that everybody's after, feel free. Yeah, so it's more of a, well maybe a birthday present for myself, but I have never tried one on before, so I just wasn't sure if it looked right. You're gonna love it. I, well, I do already. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. I'll be honest, I'm a massive GMT fan, so. But look, for example, it's quite a good time you popped in. Is this 1973? 1973. To start, not a lot's changed. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The bezel on the new one compared yeah. to that one. Ceramic. I mean, I've always been a Coke fan and they never brought one out. I think they will. They they, they definitely will one day. Green and black. There's no yeah. reason why they won't bring the red and black one out. It's lovely. We we had a Jubilee bracelet one here as well, but the oyster just I'm seems. I'm not a fan of the Jubilee. No? Yeah, no, no, no. Well, how much is that one? Uh, well, it's such my own personal watch. Oh, right. And I'll be honest, I don't know if I want to sell it. <laughs> And, okay. and for sure you don't want to sell that one. No. Okay. Unless I take that. Uh, Unless you take that one. Yeah, I know, but I think that's got my name on the card. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, no, okay. so yeah, it's just... <laughs> What's this, 2020 did you say? 2020 that one, okay, yeah. fair enough. It means oh, more than uh, money to me, my GMT collection. So, I'm dead obsessed. Okay, I appreciate that. I mean, is there any like flexibility on the price? Because in my mind, I didn't want to pay as much as 24 and a half for it. You'll certainly get a Jubilee one cheaper. Like no, for the, for that, for the Oyster Pepsi, yeah. They're, they're hot watches at the moment. So I just refused to sell one of my GMTs, which is for my private collection. Why did I refuse to do that? Because my name's on the card on this watch and I could have had a hefty profit there, a nice profit, but I love my GMTs, I keep telling you guys. So I did just turn a sale down. What? I did offer to get a gentleman another GMT um, tomorrow, but I'm not quite sure if we'll hear from him. Where's the lady? Who's ready for a riddle? Don't all jump at me at once. <laughs> riddle time. It's a new thing that I'm doing. It's called Riddle Wednesdays. Riddle Wednesdays? It's Friday. Tilly's really good riddles. That's what I'm gonna go. All right. What is full of holes and can hold water? Full of holes can hold water. Oh, who the fuck was it? I can't remember who it was. Do you know it? Sorry. What has holes in it and full of water? What has holes in it and it's full of water? Coral. That's <laughs> not the answer. <laughs> 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 he thought it was so <laughs> spot on. Coral, sponge. sponge or coral? Yeah, it's a sponge. Sponge. Nice. nice. All right. Um, he who builds me doesn't want me. Who who he who buys me doesn't use me. He that uses me so. doesn't know he's got me. Age coming, don't we? Yeah. Coffin. 
How did you, you see that on my phone? Yeah, no, I see his phone. <laughs> um, what gets wetter while drying? A towel. Yep. A man dies of an old age on his 25th birthday. How is this possible? Leap you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to quit. The more there is, the, more there is, the, the less, less you see it. Yeah, uh, it's like fog or mist or something like that. Mm -mm. Rain, mm -mm. snow. Mm -mm -mm. The more you see it, the more there is, the less you see it. Basically, that's mm -hmm. what it is. No idea. Hint. Um, usually happens about six o'clock. Darkness. Yep. Darkness. <laughs> Darkness. The <laughs> more there is, the more you see it. Have you watched it? What? Okay. what? It's a shit riddle. What has um, what has many keys but can't open a single lock? A uh, lake, canal. No. No. That was so stupid. Yeah. You, I, right, it's been too long. Sorry. It's a piano. Oh. Gosh. We have five new arrivals, but just. Bro, why would you say this? Right, I'm ready. Make sure he's right, it. Up next are the two patties. Crabby patties. We have a, oh, it was upside down, but I flipped it. <laughs> Hi everyone, so I've got two very similar looking watches here. I've got the AP and the Rolex, both on a black rubber strap. The Rose, no, I said it completely the opposite way. Yeah, don't worry. Right, H out. <laughs> yeah, out the room. What? Got my back, Mario. <laughs> <laughs>